Hi everyone. Welcome to Festive Fun. My name's Lindsay. I'm from the Saskatoon Public Library, coming to you from Treaty 6 territory. Today, we're going to be making these paper snowflakes. So, stick with us and we'll show you how it's done. So, to make one of these, we're going to need some paper that I've already cut into squares. For each snowflake, you're going to need 8 squares of paper. Uh, you're going to need some glue, and you're going to need scissors. So each one of these snowflakes is made of eight of these um, snowflake arms, flanges, whatever you want to call them. And each of these is made out of a square of paper. So you're going to take your square. Just give myself some space here. You're going to take your square and then you're going to fold it into a triangle and then you're going to fold it into another triangle. So this triangle is going to have like a, one solid fold and then a folded side like this. You are going to take the solid fo fold where there's just one fold and you're going to cut it three, two slits so that there's three pieces of um, paper like this. So the first one by the nose of your triangle, I guess. And then another one kind of a third of the way down. You're gonna try and cut them so that the slits end kind of equally distant from this edge of the paper. And then when you open it up, you've got this funny shape. Well, it's still a square, but it's got extra sides to it. From here, you're gonna glue. So start in the middle. Um, I find it easiest to fold or curl away from the fold. So like the fold is on this side. If you curl it on this side, it stays kind of more rounded. And then just do that. Used to make these in elementary school with our care partners I remember and we, we when we did there we stapled which gives it a different look kind of your points are flatter but depends on what you want to do or and if you have tons of staples around so then you do the second one and you curl it away from the one that you just did so you glued on this side and now you're gonna flip it over and do glue on the other side like this. And then your last one you're going to flip over and you're going to glue the points together the same way as your first curl. Like so. There's that one. All right, two down. Now we have eight of these things and it's time to glue them together to make a big snowflake. So what I like to do is do um, two halves and then glue the two halves together. So that's what I'm going to do. And so it doesn't really matter what you do. Just take one side and stick it to the other like so. And that drag, another side. So you just take them like that. And you can glue them together. Oops. And don't worry if it comes off, you can always re-glue it. So, and then just press that together. And one more. There. 
let that kind of sit and then you do the other side. Okay, all that's left now is to join the two halves together. So you just take them, and do like you did before, glue, and stick it to the other side. This one, just hold it in place for a second, just to give you more. Oh, it's kind of apart. So you know that it's going to stick. And then, boop. This will be your last one. Hold it together like that, and there you have it, ladies and gents. A snowflake. And so, once your glue is all dried, you can, if you want, you can punch a hole in the top of one of these and then tie some strings so that you can hang them up. There you go, a fancy paper ornament. Enjoy.